Last one here. Let's accept and exit the sketch. Let's activate the extruded boss command now. Extrusion depth will make 7.5 millimeters. And accept. Let's exit part editing mode. I'd like to insert another part. Go to insert components and select new part. Now let's select the top plane. The second part is going to be the seal. Let's activate the Convert Entities tool. And at this time, I'll select the entire sketch. OK. And let's exit the sketch. Let's go to the Features tab now. Pre-select the sketch we just created. Then activate the Extruded Boss command. Let's change the direction of the extrusion and the depth to 2 millimeters. Tab to register. Let's click OK. All right, let's exit part editing mode. And right click on our sketch to hide it. Last step, let's bring in the whole wizard. Go to the positions tab. And I'll select this face. Now left click to position a hole. Six holes snap to the center of each circle. Number four. Here's five and six. Back to the Type tab now. The simple hole is pre-selected. Let's stick with this. ANSI metric is our standard. The size, let's use a 10 millimeter hole. End condition will be through all. And for feature scope, it'll be through all components. All components. And let's accept our work. Lastly, let's change the color of our part. We'll change it to red. OK. And let's launch the palette again. We'll use green for the seal. OK. And this concludes our second tutorial about working with assembly sketches. Mm -hmm.